Let's start out by saying that the Monogatari series is by far one of the most unique anime series you will ever find. This paranormal drama series has consistently amassed thousands of fans yearly since its debut novel released in 2005. This story has had various adaptations both in light novel, manga, and anime. If you don't know what the series is about, Monogatari is a story surrounding the experiences of a high school senior named Koyomi Araragi. We also see his friends and their various activities with apparitions, ghosts, and yokai after an encounter that turns Koyomi into a vampire for a short time. The story makes a gradual expansion and introduces more characters, myths, and, of course, dangers. The whole show is a mix of supernatural mystery, drama, and romance consisting of narratives ranging from thought-provoking drama to graphic battles and even slapstick comedy with wacky witticisms. Monogatari is so unique that one might even call it weird, but maybe that's what makes it such a beloved series among anime fans worldwide. The anime adaptation of the series is one of the most popular of all time, and this isn't unmerited. A lot of the fans would agree that the anime brings the whole story to life in a very different manner compared to what we usually know anime to be. If you need a word to describe it, call it style. The style used for this series is unlike any other for the openings of each arc and the arcs themselves. The openings of each new arc give a sense of understanding of how the old arc went and how it'll affect the new one. The major standout feature of the series is how the story progresses like a novel rather than the traditional anime style. It's mostly driven by dialogue, as you can see in the anime, when you have words flashing on the screen that you can barely read sometimes, this is actually taken directly from the novel itself. Which shows you exactly how much Shaft Studios wanted to stick closely to Nisio Eason's work. And the power of the narrative is mostly in the lives of its cast. The unique technique is one that exaggerates the moods, feelings, and emotions of different characters. Speaking of the characters, the characters in the series are so well developed that each one can be a protagonist in their own way. Every arc is focused on the personal story of one of the characters as seen through the eyes of the protagonist and narrator of the story, Koyomi Araragi. Thankfully, the characters of Monogatari are very interesting, some of the most interesting characters you'll ever find in anime, and they are very, very well developed for an anime series. All the main characters in the show, both the fan-loved vampire Shinobu and the unpredictable Nadako, hold up a whole plotline of their own while showcasing largely distinct personalities, designs, and desires. All the interactions with Koyomi and the other mythical entities that surround them push the narration to keep the viewers on edge. Then we have Koyomi, their supposed protector and savior who comes to save the day. Supposed because he does try his best to offer help to these characters, but in the end, they still save themselves from their struggles. We are looking at struggles ranging from demonic possession, a vicious curse, their mythical creations, or sometimes things that are more real and personal like abuse. Another very standout feature of the series is how they aren't scared to go into the darker subjects, like showing Koyomi, a third year high school student, attempt to wrestle and suplex a girl in elementary school. I love you, Hachikuji. Koyomi is usually used as the comic relief character for times when things start getting a bit intense. Because of what the other main characters might be facing, and boy do they get intense sometimes, a lot of the times while watching the scenes, they get so crazy that one would think Koyomi was making it all up. But it is all a part of what makes the show so fun because you really can't tell what's gonna happen next, so you're always on your toes wondering what is gonna happen next, seeing as the Monogatari series is sort of like Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. Now, the major challenge with the Monogatari light novels and anime comes for us English-speaking viewers and readers. The translations in most of the light novels and anime don't really slap as hard as they do in the Japanese language. Most of the witticisms from the original get lost in translation for various reasons. Firstly, most of the people who write these translations are usually either English speakers trying to perfect their Japanese or Japanese speakers trying to perfect their English. Secondly, because a lot of the translators are not part of the team that wrote the series, their interpretations of some of the words are usually inaccurate. This, in turn, misplaces the significance of some of the words used in the original language. Another factor to note is the burnout rate. There are several arcs with several pages that make up the whole series, so it's going to take a lot of work to translate the whole thing. I mean, it, even if you are fluent at expert level in both English and Japanese, it would feel really weird to translate a whole Japanese novel series just for fun. Even if you start, by the time you're done with translating a single page for hours, you'd probably just give up. But to their avail, they did stick really closely to the original source material. 
but what makes it different is Nisio Isen loves to play on words with the Japanese language. So even if we did fully grasp what it's about, Nisio Isen has this way of playing with words that even Japanese people can't fully understand the witticisms, so what is an English speaker gonna do about it? And even saying all of this, I still absolutely love the Monogatari series. But I guess now you might have a better understanding of why these series do not have the perfect translations that properly depict the original Japanese. And most non-Japanese speakers have had to make do with the fan subs that are available, or learn some Japanese to actually enjoy the series. Not the best, but it's better than nothing. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you liked it, please smash a like on the video. Also, leave your comments below on what you think about the Monogatari series and which adaptation of the series is your favorite because I'm not gonna lie I'm a huge Neko Monogatari fan I'd love to know your guys' opinions don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video